if you're sick, you don't want more sickness. You want health. So why study your sickness? You get it? Most people, when they get sick now, especially, they jump on Google, you know, they jump on the internet and look up symptoms. Here's all my symptoms. And they try to study it out. And they don't realize that when they're doing that, they're actually reinforcing the, the, the symptoms that they're having because that's what you focus on, you become. Now, there, it, it is a scientific fact that whenever you speak something, that what it does in your brain, it doesn't just stay in your brain. When you speak something, for instance, if I said dog, you don't think cow, you, you, but you think in pictures, so you picture a dog. Now, you, you, we, not, we, we probably wouldn't all picture the same dog, but you would picture a dog in your mind, whatever represents a dog to you, right? So if you, uh, you know, the, the whole point is that if you are, if you want health, you study what you want, not what you've got. Do you get it? Because yeah. if you study what you have, you'll only have more of what you have. Sure. But if you study, but if you want something, you study what you want. And, and see, years ago even, I remember Charles Capps years back, um, God told him, he said, I told my people, Mark eleven twenty three, 23, I told my people that they can have what they say, but instead they keep saying what they have. Yeah. And see, too often, see, we're to, we're to call those things which be not as though they were. So if we call things which be not as though they were, we're not talking about the are, we're talking about the things that should be. Yes. Amen? So it's just like, you know, if you call something, you're, you're calling it to you, right? You, you don't call the dog and expect the cat to come. <laughs> Amen? If you call the dog, you expect it to, you call what you want. You don't call what you don't want. Amen? So all I'm saying, and this is just a real quick, this is not my, my, my message or anything at all. I just want you to realize too often we study and we focus on the things that we have and they're not the things we want. To get what you want, you got to focus on what you want and not what you have, right? Now, a lot of people get upset. Well, we should be content with what we have. No, we should be content with what God said we should have. That's what you should be content with. Now, in circumstances, there are circumstances where you are traveling or doing different things and things aren't always perfect. We, we get that. And you, can, you have to learn how to be content because that's a temporary thing. But you have to realize that if it's a sickness or a disease, you should never be content in sickness or disease. Why? Because it's trying to kill you. And so the whole point is it's trying to make you less effective for the kingdom of God. So the point is you don't be uh, content with those things. You be content with what God said he gave you through Jesus. And whenever you make yourself content with that, then you look at that, you talk about that, you focus on that, you go after it. You don't just sit back and go, well, if God wants me to have it, he'll give it to me. Well, no, he did give it to you, but you still got to take it. And to take it means to take hold of and make it your own. That's your part. Faith requires a response. Do you get that? Faith doesn't just dump things on you. Faith requires a response. And whenever your response, as I said before, faith is... Uh, voice activated and it's motion activated and whenever you move and speak say of the Lord what he has said he will give you then that draws to you what you are saying about him do you understand that so what I was saying before is that if you when I said about the dog I was leading to this point when you say if I say foot then automatically usually your mind will go to your foot well if you say Whatever you say, if you, see, if you say, my foot, then that thought is already heading to your foot, right? If you say, my foot hurts, then the thought of your foot hurting, it has been, that, that thought and that command has now been sent to your foot. So if your foot was hurting, the last thing you want to talk about is your foot hurting, because all you're going to do is reinforce it, and every time you say it, the nerves carry that word to that part of the body that you're talking about. And most people talk about, my foot hurts. That's how, they don't say, uh, hurt, my foot does. You know, you'd be talking like Yoda, right? So, but it, you don't talk that way. So first, you call the thing, you, you, you mention it, that locates it, then you send the command to it. So basically what you're saying is, you're, you're calling that part of your body to attention, and you're saying, listen to what I'm fixing to say about you, 
and then you say it, and then your spirit, which is very much like a machine, a computer, will actually work to bring to pass what you say. Amen. Do you get that? And I'm going to talk more about this, not today, but we're talking about it. So the whole point is that if you want it to be different, don't talk about what it is and how it is. Talk about the different you want. Amen. Do you get that? Yes. And this is biblical. It's also scientific. It is proven scientific. But I'm just telling you, don't study your problem. Okay? Yeah. Study the answer. Amen. Focus on the answer. Think on these things. Isn't that what he said? Right. What, does it say think on your problems? It doesn't say that. It says think on these things. What things? Pure, good, holy, of good report. If there be any praise in it, right? Not if there be any pain in it. If there be any praise in it. Amen? Yeah. So everything I'm telling you is Bible. I'm just, I just want you to get a hold of it. If you start changing what you say about your body, your body will start changing to line up with what you say. So if you want different, don't keep saying the same thing, right? Unless you're already saying good things. Amen? Isn't that simple? All right. Um,